Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology is a university in Kumasi, Ashanti, Ghana. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology is the public university established in the country, as well as the largest university in Kumasi Metropolis and Ashanti. NUST has its roots in the plans of the King Asanteene Agumen Prempa I to establish a university in Kumasi as part of his drive towards modernization of his Ashanti kingdom. This plan never came to fruition due to the clash between British Empire expansion and the desire for King Prempa I to preserve his Ashanti kingdom's independence. However, his younger brother and successor, King Asanteene Agumen Prempa II, upon ascending to the Golden Stool in 1935, continued with this vision. Events in the Gold Coast in the 1940s played into his hands. First there was the establishment of the University College of the Gold Coast. Second there were the 1948 riots and the consequent Watson Commission report which recommended that a University of Sciences be established in Kumasi. Thus, in 1949, the dream of the Prempas became a reality when building started on what was to be called the Kumasi College of Technology. The Kumasi College of Technology offered admission to its first students to the engineering faculty in 1951, they entered in 1952, and an Act of Parliament gave the university its legal basis as the Kumasi College of Technology in 1952. The nucleus of the college was formed from 200 teacher training students transferred from Akamota bin the Greater Accra region. The college was affiliated to the University of London. In 1961, the college was granted full university status. The main university campus, which is about 7 square miles in area, is about 8 miles 13 kilometers to the east of Kumasi, the Ashanti regional capital. Topic History Topic Early History The Kumasi College of Technology opened officially on the 22nd of January 1952 with 200 teacher training students transferred from Akamoda to form the nucleus of the new college. In October 1952, the School of Engineering and the Department of Commerce were established and the first students were admitted. A pharmacy department was established in January 1953, with the transfer of the former School of Pharmacy from Corley Bu Teaching Hospital, Accra, to the college. The department ran a two-year comprehensive course in pharmacy leading to the award of the Pharmacy Board Certificate. A Department of Agriculture was opened in the same year to provide ad hoc courses of varying duration, from a few terms to three years, for the Ministry of Agriculture. A Department of General Studies was instituted to prepare students for the higher school certificate examinations in science and arts subjects and to give instruction in subjects as requested by the other departments. From 1952 to 1955, the School of Engineering prepared students for professional qualifications only. In 1955, the school embarked on courses leading to the University of London Bachelor of Engineering external degree examinations. In 1957, the School of Architecture, Town Planning and Building was inaugurated. Its first students were admitted in January 1958 for professional courses. As the college expanded, it was decided to make the Kumasi College of Technology a purely science and technology institution. In pursuit of this policy, the teacher training college, with the exception of the art school, was transferred in January 1958 to the Winneba Training College. In 1959, the Commerce Department was transferred to Akamoda to form the nucleus of the present School of Administration of the University of Ghana, Legan. In December 1960, the government of Ghana appointed a university commission to advise it on the development of university education, in connection with the proposal to transform the University College of Ghana and the Kumasi College of Technology into an independent University of Ghana. Following the report of the commission which came out early 1961, the government decided to establish two independent universities in Kumasi and Legan, Accra. 
The Kumasi College of Technology was thus transformed, under the supervision of R. P. Bafour, into a full-fledged university Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology by an Act of Parliament on the 22nd of August 1961. The name honors Kwame Nkrumah, the first Prime Minister and later President of Ghana. The name was changed to University of Science and Technology after the revolution of 24 February 1966. The University of Science and Technology was officially inaugurated on Wednesday 20 November 1961. However, another Act of Parliament Act 559 of 1998 changed the name back to its original version, the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology Kumasi. Topic. Organization and administration Topic. Principal officers The principal officers of the university are the Chancellor, Chairman of the University Council and Vice-Chancellor. As of 2018, the position of Chancellor was held by the Asanteene Otumfuo OSEI 222. Governing body Governance is carried out by the University Council, primarily through the Academic Board, which is responsible for formulating and carrying out the academic policy of the university devising and regulating the courses of instruction and study, and supervising research, regulating the conduct of examinations and the award of degrees, diplomas and certificates, advising the University Council on the admission of students and the award of scholarships, reporting on such matters as may be referred to it by the University Council. Topic. Student participation in university administration Students participate in the administration of the university through their representatives serving on the university council, academic board, the welfare services board, faculty and departmental boards, residence committee, library committee and on the hall councils. Topic. Collegiate system. NUST has, since January 2005, transformed from its previous centralized system of administration into a decentralized collegiate university. Under this system, the faculties have been condensed into six colleges. The university had been administered on the faculty-based system. This led to administrative difficulties as new faculties and institutes were created to meet the ever-growing academic pursuits of students. To solve this problem, a collegiate system was officially adopted on 29 November 2004. On 5 April 2005, the pioneering provosts were inducted and invested into office at the Great Hall of the NUST. The colleges are semi-autonomous, which means that they are given the power to largely run on their own without much dependence on the central administration for financial support. A college registrar, finance officer and librarian assist the provosts. Under them are the faculties, centers and institutes, headed by deans and directors. As heads of the colleges, the provosts provide academic and administrative leadership for the colleges and oversee their overall running. Topic. Housing and accommodation There are numerous NUST-approved hostels mostly within close proximity to main campus. Students of all financial backgrounds have their accommodation needs catered for. There are six halls of residence at the Kumasi campus, each administered by a hall council consisting of senior and junior members. The executive head is the hall master, who is assisted by a senior tutor. There is a hall bursar and other supporting staff. Topic. Halls of Residence Africa Hall is the only all-female hall in the university. It was first occupied by students on 14 October 1967. 
Members of the hall are known as domites. A majority of the female senior members are assigned to Africa Hall as fellows. Dome has 192 inhabitable rooms, with a student population of about 786. Independence Hall was officially opened in February 1959 to commemorate the attainment of Ghana's independence on 6 March 1957, and was the first permanent hall of residence. Women were admitted to the hall for the first time in 1991. Members are known as Spartans. Queen's Hall was named in honour of Queen Elizabeth II of Great Britain and was officially opened in November 1959 by the Duke of Edinburgh. The Queen visited the hall in 1961 during her state visit to Ghana. Queen's Hall is coeducational and houses a student population of 840, with 294 rooms. Members are usually known as royals. Republic Hall, nicknamed Akuk Repo, is a mixed hall with about 850 local and international students. It was named to commemorate Ghana's attainment of Republic status in 1960, and was officially opened in 1961. Women were admitted to the hall for the first time in 1991. The main hall has 198 rooms, and there are 96 rooms in the annex block. Residents of Republic Hall are known as moguls. Unity Hall is the largest hall in West Africa with an original accommodation capacity of 432 rooms and presently with 48 extra flats housed in the building. It is an all-male hall with facilities nicknamed the Twin Towers. Members are known as Continentals. The student population is more than 1880. The hall welcomed its first residents on 16 October 1968. It is the only traditional hall on campus with a study room equipped with a wireless internet connection. It is popularly known as Conti. It is currently the largest male hall in Ghana and West Africa. University Hall is the real name of the first all-male hall in Nust which is popularly known as Katanga. Topic. Hostels About 60% of the student population is non-resident. There are private hostels around the campus and in Kumasi for students who, as a result of the limited facilities, rooms, could not be admitted as resident students. There are facilities on campus where non-resident students can rest between lectures and study before they leave for their homes and hostels. In January 2014, the top floor of the Crystal Rose Hostel caught fire while most students were on vacation. The cause of the fire is still not known. Topic: International students. There is a large multinational international community at NUST as a result of the high standards of education. There is an international student association that sees to the interests of foreign students such as accommodation, orientation and campus tours. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Academics. From the 2010-11 academic year, some of the colleges operate a two-tier system, while others maintain their three-tier system. Colleges under the three-tier system, Provost, Dean, Head of Department. Topic. College of Agriculture and Natural Resources Faculty of Agriculture Department of Agricultural Economics, Agribusiness and Extension Department of Animal Sciences Department of Crop and Soil Sciences Department of Horticulture Faculty of Renewable Natural Resources Department of Agroforestry Department of Fisheries and Watershed Management Department of Silviculture and Forest Management Department of Wildlife and Range Management Department of Wood Science and Technology Faculty of Forest Resources Technology Department of Ecotourism and Forest Recreation Department of Land Reclamation and Rehabilitation Department of Social Forestry Department of Wood Processing and Marketing Topic. College of Health Sciences 
Faculty of Allied Health Sciences Department of Medical Laboratory Technology Department of Nursing Department of Sonography Department of Sports and Exercise Science Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences Dental School School of Medical Sciences School of Veterinary Medicine Topic. College of Humanities and Social Sciences Faculty of Law Faculty of Social Sciences Department of Economics Department of English Department of Geography and Rural Development Department of History and Political Studies Department of Modern Languages Department of Religious Studies Department of Sociology and Social Work School of Business Colleges under the two-tier system Provost, Head of Department Topic. College of Arts and Built Environment The College of Art and Built Environment formerly known as College of Architecture and Planning came into existence in January 2005 as part of the restructuring of the university into a collegiate system. In the restructuring, the Faculty of Environmental and Development Studies FEDS, and the Institute of Land Management and Development ILMAD, were merged to form the college. FEDS comprised three teaching departments, Department of Architecture, Department of Building Technology and Department of Housing and Planning Research. ILMAD comprised two departments, Department of Land Economy and the Land Resources Center. The college currently comprises two faculties, ten teaching departments and one research institute, Department of Communication Design, Department of General Art Studies, Department of Painting and Sculpture, Department of Integrated Rural Art, Industry Department of Industrial Art Department of Educational Innovations in Science and Technology Department of Publishing Studies Department of Architecture Department of Building Technology Department of Land Economy Department of Planning Center for Settlement Studies Center for Land Studies Topic College of Engineering Department of Agricultural Engineering Department of Aerospace Engineering Department of Chemical Engineering Department of Civil Engineering Department of Computer Engineering Department of Electrical Engineering Electronic Engineering and Telecommunication Engineering Department of Geological Engineering Department of Geodetic Engineering Department of Geomatic Engineering Department of Materials Engineering Department of Mechanical Engineering Department of Petroleum Engineering Department of Reproductive Engineering Engineering. Topic: College of Science. Department of Biochemistry and Biotechnology. Department of Chemistry. Department of Computer Science. Department of Environmental Science. Department of Food Science and Technology. Department of Mathematics. Department of Optometry and Visual Science Department of Physics Department of Theoretical and Applied Biology Topic. Institute of Distance Learning In the year 2005, the NUST adopted distance learning as a viable complement to the conventional face-to-face -face system of education. This decision was made to offer opportunity for people to pursue academic programs with the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, while still on full time employment. In October 2007, the Academic Board changed the status of the Faculty of Distance Learning to the Institute of Distance Learning. Topic. Library and Digital Resources The NUST Library provides information in electronic and print formats to staff and students mainly to support teaching, learning and research in science and technology for national development. It is a depository library for all materials published in Ghana and for international institutions and organizations like the World Bank and other United Nations agencies. Digital services are available through the Open Educational Resource as well as the DSpace repository. 
The Open Educational Resources OER component of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology fosters collaboration on curricula, course materials, and content, generates connections between disciplines, teachers, and learners, and inspires use of educational materials in a more effective way. NUST Online Repository is the university's digital repository. Data for the repository is still being added on to. Topic. Affiliated institutions Accra Institute of Technology Akeem State University College All Nations University College Central University College Datalink University College DLUC Garden City University College Ghana Telecom University College Ho Polytechnic OSEI 222 Institute for Advanced ICT Studies Regent University College Spiritan Institute, Spiritan University College Topic. Research Centers Bureau of Integrated Research and Development Center for Biodiversity Utilization and Development CBUD. Center for Cultural and African Studies Center for Human Studies Dairy, Beef Research Station The Energy Center Kumasi Center for Collaborative Research KCCR. National Center for Mathematical Sciences Technology Consultancy Center TCC. Topic. Notable people In Government and Diplomacy, Vice President of Ghana 2000-2008, Alu Mahama studied at NUST. Chief Justice of Ghana, Edward Kwame Wiredu was also a student at NUST. Former First Lady of Ghana, Nana Kanadu Aguman Rawlings is an alumni. Several notable Ghanaian cabinet ministers have also graduated from the institution including Haruna Esaku and current Education Minister, Matthew Apoku Prempa. UN Secretary General and Nobel Peace Prize Laureate in 2001, Kofi Annan had a part of his education at NUST. Kwaku Aining, Hakman Owusu Agumon are other diplomats who graduated from NUST. Notable graduates from NUST College of Engineering include Thomas Mensa, the inventor whose discovery in fiber optics made fiber optics commercial throughout the world, Alex Mould, former CEO of GNPC, Benjamin Asante, CEO of Ghana Gas and Charles Darku, former CEO of GRIDCO and Tullo Ghana Limited. The female novelist writer, Ama Darko was attended NUST. Actors, John DeMello and Chris Atto attended NUST.